Hey guys, this is going to be my unboxing video of the Digizoid Zo2. Just going to thank everyone for subscribing to me lately. It's been really appreciated, and also getting my views up. So uh, hopefully you can keep subscribing, subscribing if you like what I do, and like the products I'm getting to show to you. There's obviously um, more and more coming, and yeah, I can't, I'm enjoying doing this. So if you could subscribe, the better, I guess. Um, so yeah, this is the. Newest version of the Digizoid Zoe personal subwoofer. Just going to quickly thank Top Dog Headphones over in the UK. Well, I'm in the UK as well, but in the UK for sending this over to me for review. It's really appreciated that companies like them can send this over and assist with what I do. So that's that's great. Um, obviously, they are the UK distributor of this. Amp, which seems to be doing great. I've seen only really good things about it. And um, this is the first company that have it in the UK. In fact, I think it might be the first company that have it outside of the US. So uh, that's great. Obviously, because you won't be charged on import taxes and all that stuff. So that's a great service that Top Dog Headphones are bringing to us. I can tell you that Dave over there, or David over there, it's great, it's great to talk to, and he knows his stuff, so that's that's cool. Uh, the packaging's really quite minim minimalistic for this amplifier. Um, blow your mind, not your ears. Uh, that's good, I guess. Things are made in the USA, so this is the first UK distributor for it. Top Dog ear earphones. There's not really much more to show, so let's get this let's get this open. Um, I said minimalistic, and that looks really quite nice from what I'm seeing actually. So. Prove me wrong there, you can see the amp there, nice and small. And we have something up here, I can see, so let's see what's in here. This is Know Your Zoe. So it's a quick start guide to the amplifier, tells you what, what's going on, how to control it. Obviously there's a lot you can do with that, with this, and yeah. All about what happens if you use different connectors and that sort of stuff, so that's really cool. Um, I'll do a bit more on how to use the amp later, but now let's just do the unboxing. So, now this folds out. I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. That slides out like that. So, packaging seems to be quite nice in the end because get the instructions up the top, you can see the amp and all that, so that's all quite cool. Um, with it you get two cables, this is what I'm guessing is going to be the USB charger cable, simple case of plugging into a computer and that, I guess plugs into the amp, so that's, that's quite cool, or well, unnecessary of course. Uh, then we have a mouth to mouth 3.5mm interconnect. Um, not gold plated, but I guess you can always upgrade the cable if you're not happy with the performance. So um, it's an interconnect nonetheless, so you can get started instantly. You have to wait around if you do want to improve on the cable. And then lastly, we have the amp itself, of course, and it is nice and small actually. A bit smaller than I was expecting, if I'm going to be honest here. It's made of all plastic, but that doesn't doesn't feel bad quality by any means. Um, as it's small, it's quite compact. Everything seems to be done quite nicely. Um, so yeah, we have that's where the charger will insert. So that's how we can charge it. Quite simple. Uh, here we have. A rotating volume control or bass contour control or however we're going to use this and up the top that's where we're going to put a source in that's where we're going to put the headphones in or the speakers or whatever you're going to be driving with this so that's a quick look at the amp now for what I thought I'd do for you is just so you can get a grasp of the the size of this amp Obviously it's a port of amp, so you're going to want it to be small, and for that you're going to want to know it's small. But um, if I hold it up there, it could be any size, you know, can you tell how big it is compared to anything? No you can't at the end of the day, so I thought I'd just, because I'm a nice guy, throw in some amplifier comparisons in comparison to some other amps. 
and sources. So um, this is my smallest amp I have. It's my GoVibe mini box amplifier. Um, it's my smallest amp, and as you can see, it is slightly shorter than the the Zoe, and about half the width. But actually, perhaps a bit thinner, which is nice. Um, so yeah. Um, it's not far off my smallest amp, which is of course good. But this is another small amp I have, the Hippo Cry Cry, which I was expecting to be a lot smaller than the Zoe, but as you can see, it's only fairly, just a tiny bit shorter really, that's it. Um, Cry Cry Plus is a bit bigger. Obviously this has, a, this has a DAC function as well, really nice piece of equipment. Ooh, gold. Um, this is a slightly bigger portable amp, my Myo Audio MRB. And as you can see, it envelopes the size of the Zoe, which is just generally a lot smaller. So yeah, that's the that's the Zoe, <laughs> the MRB. Uh, this is my Epiphany Acoustics EHPO2, which sold as a portable amplifier, or I think it was at first, I don't know if it's anymore. It's really a transportable amplifier, but I just use it as part of my desktop rig. Really nice, I mean, it's a great sound amp, I'm sure you've heard of it. But um, yeah, not small at all. And as you can see, not really any size comparison there. Finally, who doesn't know how big an iPhone is? I'll throw this comparison in. And as you can see, it's a lot smaller than my iPhone 4. So, you know, you could Velcro it to the back there, bottom corner, straight in the middle if you want. If you had it there, it wouldn't, wouldn't be any bit more difficult to hold. It'd be quite nice. Um, and obviously it doesn't add up too much bulk onto your iPhone and you're getting the quality from it. So that's great. I now thought I'd give you a quick guide on how to use the Zoe um, in one of its two methods of use. Um, I'm gonna do it with my iPhone 4 and my Air Audio 4 AI in-ear monitors, which are my favorite in-ear monitors at this moment in time uh, they just they just sound generally great <laughs> um, if you look at my review or you can find my unboxing video of them but they, yeah I love them but um, back to the Zoe uh, just whatever you're using as a source in my case the iPhone 4 just turn off all EQ or sound enhancement features that you have obviously you don't want them interfering in what the, the Zoe is going to do so um, that's that um, there's two different methods we can use with the Zoe to connect to a source. We can either use the line out dock, which obviously I'm going to prefer to use with an eye device as this bypasses the amplifier in my iPhone 4 and just uses the Zoe. If you can't do that, I'll use a LOD. Then you're going to use the interconnect because there's another mode for that. Anyhow, um, I'll start off by just showing you how to use with the... Um, with the line out dock. So first of first, I'm gonna connect my iPhone 4 to the dock connector and we're gonna place that into the one titled source. Or as a little music symbol. So that's connected there. We're then obviously gonna want my earphones connected. So that's the one that has like a speaker logo next to it. So there we go, we're all connected to the Zoe. Uh, we now obviously want to turn it on. So on the side of this volume wheel, if we click it once, it's now on. And the light bar indicates that. We now want to configure it to uh, line out mode, as we're using the line out dock. So we click the side button again and we get this blue light. And this blue light represents um, represents volume which is cool so we just use this scroll on the side to change the volume as you can see it changes color the darker or the more pink the more volume we have and that works as your volume while it's in line out mode and if we click again we go back to this one and uh, this works as your base adjuster or sound signature tuning and uh, the colour represents the bass so if you want max bass we're going to go red and for a little bit of bass we go green so simply use the side to go up 
up, up, down to find how much bass you want so you can play around and adjust that. Might as well play some music while I do this just to prove this actually works. <laughs> You can hear they're playing music now. Um, turn up the volume. So that's, that's the line out dock mode, so that all works absolutely fine. So, um, Let's show you how to use it in the other mode, which will be, of course, interconnect mode, or as it's called here, headphone out mode. So, let's get rid of my lot, my line out dock, and insert the included cable that we have into the headphone out of whatever you play you have. Again, iPhone 4. Uh, I'll leave the earphones in connected in. There we go. So we're now connected by that. Um, we'll turn it on the same way as before. But this time we're going to sk skip over to the configure mode and now we're going to hold it, rotate up for 8 seconds. And that changes this to this, purp oh, this purpley pink. And what we have here is the volume is controlled now using the player of course. And we just have a step, a held 25% um, volume on here. So um, again, play some music. And we use, we can change the volume on the iPhone this time, or whatever your source is. So um, that's the Zoe, that's some, um, and just turn it off, just hold it off anyway. Um, so yep, yeah, that's the Zoe, that's some size comparison, so hopefully you've got a grasp of how big this little thing is. <laughs> and um, that's also how to work it, so you can use it with a line out dock, a headphone out, so there's two modes, so you, whatever you want to use it, however you want to use it. Um, not only do we have a headphone amplifier, but we can change the bass with it. So it does loads, obviously I don't know how it sounds yet, as you've just seen me with it. So um, I'll report back on Headfire and how it sounds. I might do a little amp showdown on YouTube, it's coming soon, because I've got a nice collection coming up. Um, so yeah, that's the Digizoid Zoe. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'd just like to end with a massive thank you to David at Top Dog Headphones for sending this out to me. And um, if you're in the UK and you want one of these, well you're going to have to go to him, aren't you? So, Alright. Awesome.